Hi friends, my name is Dennis. Welcome to this channel. I create content on interesting topics in math and physics. So if that sounds cool, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out. So today's problem is a little bit uh, even more interesting. Y equals the square root of tan of x plus the square root of tan of x plus the square root of tan of x plus dash dash dash. We don't know how many tan x's they are, okay? So it's an interesting problem and we want to find the derivative of this function here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we'll do this. So let's begin by writing this function in another way. So I'll write this as y equals the square root of tan x plus. So as you can see, if I look at all this tan x plus tan x plus tan x up to infinity, I actually have another y, alright? So there we go. So I could write this as y squared equals, oops, so I'm going to write that as y squared equals tan of x plus y. Okay, so I've just squared both sides. So if I square here, I get y squared. If I square here, I get rid of the square root. So I have y squared equals tan x plus y. Let's collect like terms together here. So we have y squared minus y equals the tan of x. Okay, let's now take derivatives on both sides with respect to x because we are finding dy dx. So we'll have 2y Okay, that's the derivative of y squared and then minus 1. All this is with respect to x, so I write dy dx here. The derivative of tan x, that's going to be sec squared x. Okay, so we're almost there. Just draw this line to separate the two sides. So, okay, just pick up a pen here. So dy dx or dy over dx is going to be sec squared x divided by 2y minus 1. But remember, this is a derivative. Uh, this is actually a derivative of y with respect to x. So it's not pleasant to have the y within the final derivative. So let's replace back the y. So this is going to be sec squared x, if you like divided by 2 times y, so 2 times y is the original function, the square root of tan x, oops, I'll just write that better, the square root of tan x plus the square root of tan x plus, could just say plus dash, 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 and then minus 1, all right? Okay, oops. There, hope you could just see that. But this is a little bit not interesting. I mean, we, we cannot tell what the the answer here is. It's still ambiguous because we have all these tan x's and we don't know where this ends. So I'm going to make some little tweaks to this answer to make it better. So just pick another color here. So from here, from this step, I'm going to pick it again from here. So that's y squared minus y equals tan x. I'm going to add a quarter, one-fourth on both sides. You'll see why that is. I want to complete squares. So I'll add 1 over 4 here. On this side, I also have the tan of x plus 1 over 4. Okay, so by adding 1 over 4 here, you can actually prove that this is this is a complete square, so this is going to be y minus a half squared. Okay, that's a perfect square. On the other side, we have tan x plus a quarter, right? So we have y minus a half is equal to tan x plus a quarter. And I can actually see that, uh, okay, this is under square root because that's y squared, y minus a half squared. All right, okay, so just get another color here. 
So we can say that y is positive a half plus the square root of the tangent so tan of x plus a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to substitute this value of y. Uh, show you this. So I'm going to substitute this value of y here into the expression for dy dx. All right, so that's going to give us a more pleasant answer than the one we had at first here. So let me show you what this now is. So that's 6 squared x divided by 2 times y. So that's okay. If I multiply all this by 2, so I'll skip some steps here. That's going to be 2 times a half. That's going to be a 1. And then 2 times this, that's going to be plus twice the square root of tan x plus 1 over 4. Okay, the square root extends up to there. And then minus 1. So this 1 and this minus 1 will subtract away. And so our final answer is going to be 6 squared x divided by twice the square root of tan x. Okay, tan x plus 1 over 4. Okay, so that's interesting and this is our final answer. Uh, so we could just end the answer at this point. Oops, we could just end the answer here which is not so interesting because we don't know where this ends or we could just end the answer here which is a little bit better okay i'll uh, circle that with another color so or we could end the answer here which is in my opinion a better way to end the answer because this looks better and we can plug in any value of x so that we find the derivative uh, at any value provided that the 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 thing inside the bracket is not going to be negative. You can actually find the, the values of x that will give us a real derivative. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Again, if this looks, you know, a nice thing to do, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the weekly challenges and problems that I'll be posting. Also, like and share. And Bye.